Hello, and welcome to the podcast series on listening strategies for French immersion students, produced by the faculty at the Official Languages and Bilingualism Institute of the University of Ottawa. This podcast is part of a series to help you improve your listening strategies and to provide practical hints on note-taking in the context of academic courses in your second language. Podcast 4, Reviewing, Evaluating the Lecture. In this podcast, you're going to learn more about what to do after the lecture is over in order to complete your notes, verify your understanding, and consolidate your learning. Now, once the lecture is over and you've left class, it's important to return to your notes as soon as possible. If the lecture is still fresh in your memory, it's easier to fill in missing information, to check for coherence in your notes, to identify where you have questions, and to try to find some answers by consulting either the course readings or your classmates. How can I best do that? Well, ideally, you could arrange to meet with other students in the class on a regular basis after class, or for periodic group study sessions at mutually agreeable times. You should try to choose to work with students who appear to be engaged in class, and try to even sit with these students. Now, these could be either Francophone peers or classmates from your FLS support course. The purpose of this meeting can be to fill in gaps in your notes or simply exchange notes. Now, you'll have another opportunity to review your notes if your professor is in the habit of reviewing the previous lecture at the beginning of class. Take advantage of this to compare your previous notes with the professor's summary and underline the key points that he or she chooses to emphasize and then fill in any missing information. Why is it important to do that kind of review? Well, the goal of the post-lecture review is to look over your notes and make connections between the ideas. Fill in the missing information, highlight or underline or color code the key ideas. If you're doing this on your own, it's also important to actually recite the lecture content. Now, this might seem weird to you, reciting your notes out loud to yourself, but it's important for ensuring that what you've written makes sense and that the ideas are connected. Follow up on the professor's suggestions about what to read for more information, or in the case of video, what to watch. This is especially important if your notes are sketchy and your understanding is not really 100%. If the professor says that the recommended extra reading is actually integral to the course, then you should definitely follow up on this recommendation. What if while I'm reviewing my notes, I realize that some points are unclear? Well, that's going to happen. And if necessary, make an appointment to visit the professor or the teaching assistants during their office hours. Get there with some clearly articulated questions about the confusing points. You can clear up what you don't understand and at the same time get to know the professor and engage in an exchange of ideas and opinions related to the course content. Ask the professor for copies of diagrams, figures, or PowerPoint slides if these can be made available. And, incidentally, the professor may end up becoming an important contact for letters of reference for future jobs or graduate school. So, to conclude, when your class is over, your work is not done. An important part of successful academic listening is the reviewing phase that occurs after each class. Either working alone, with a partner, or with a study group, you should review your notes, fill in that missing information, and highlight the key points. This ensures that your comprehension is complete, that your notes are coherent and thorough, and that you're going to do well when you review and prepare for subsequent exams. Thank you for listening to this podcast on effective listening strategies brought to you by the faculty at the Official Languages and Bilingualism Institute of the University of Ottawa.